Hi everyone, it's Nikki Jameson here and I'm back with another video recording. Today we're going to look at watercolour again and I'm going to experiment with trying to get a watercolour effect with the blow tool and wetting the canvas. So in a previous video I had done something where I did wet the canvas using the watercolour brush and the watercolour tool uh, where the colours flowed into each other. I wasn't too happy with the uh, outcome that I got and so I've been trying it again. And along the way I have been experimenting with the new Rebel 6 and I have discovered uh, a few things along the way, a few um, bugs in the program which I believe Rebel is aware of and they are fixing. So what I'm going to do first of all um, is not press my control key. Right now I've got my diffuse on my tilt on at the top. I really don't want to do that just yet. I want to, uh, let's just dry the layer and ignore that. In fact, I'm going to turn that layer off and delete it. I'm going to add another layer. I am going to uh, wet the layer and I'm actually going to turn the tilt off at the moment okay until I until I want it oops let's just turn it off so it's off for now so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pick a color from the oil color and what I'm going to try and do is to with the layer wet uh, go to my bristle brush and put the opacity fairly high and put it on paint and just make some marks on the canvas okay so this is all experimentation as usual and then I am going to so we've got a wet layer here then I'm going to go I want to make some uh, dry a little bit of that so I'm going to go to my dry tool here let's choose the splatter 3 make it a little bit bigger and just put some textury uh, areas or some marks around the edges that will get rid of the hard line although I like kind of like that watermark line so I'm just uh, doing something different I'm going to go back to my watercolor so now we've got this and well, then what I'm going to do now, still with the bristle brush, I'm going to add another color. My layer is still wet and I'm going to, the bristle brush is, is the best brush for this I found. I mean, I think I can use, oh, that wasn't funny. Did that just lag? I know I've got some, I know I've got some pop up behind my program here, which isn't funny. So anyway, I'm going to put a color there and maybe let's put some white in there. Okay. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the blow tool and I am going to blow the paint. Now, now I am actually going to see what happens if I put my tilt on. I think it is going to have an effect it's going to move it out. So now you can see with the blow tool. Oh, I like the drip size is a bit high. I like my drip length and size to be a bit low actually. The drips can go a little bit wild. So you can see that the paint is moving into this in a very um, organic way. Maybe not quite what I was expecting, but this is pretty good. And if you leave it a lot, if you leave it alone, it will just keep flowing in. So now I'm going to, and that's not too bad. It's you know, it's uh, it's a bit different. So now I'm going to dry that layer for a bit. Then I'm going to wet the layer, and I'm going to pick some other colours. We'll go to this pastel, these pastel colours, and I'm going to pick this color here make sure that I'm on paint um, let's move the water down a little bit make it a bit lower 
put some paint marks here. Now I, it takes some doing because I'm just trying to work out what combination of wet and dry off the brushes that I need. And the reason is that I've been doing a couple of videos with this and sometimes it works better with a drier brush but I'm not sure I'm not entirely sure that I have actually got the settings or the combination right so we're just gonna have to play with it okay so we've got a wet layer uh, I'll quickly do a little touch up to who over here just give it a bit of dry here actually you can see it's harder to uh, it's actually harder to see on these pastel colors oh and it's it's actually this shows that the layer is wet by the way this is that sign here so I'm gonna go back to the watercolor let's go back there and let's go to our blow tool we wanted to go to the blow tool, not more paint, and see if we can get, or see what we can get. So now I have got the tilt. I've got the tilt 90 degrees to the left, or just uh, on 90 degrees to the left, and you can see it. The paint is flowing together. Now, what I really wanted to do, and I haven't seen it yet so I don't know whether I'm actually wetting the layer enough maybe wet or visible and still dry it maybe that will work I'm not sure about that but I'm going to put it back to wet the layer this is fast dry if I wanted to fast dry I could fast dry it here Okay, so that is, let's go to some more of these oil colors, for example. And let's go for this brown. So we've got the water fairly low. I'm going to move it up a little bit and put some marks at the bottom here. I'm still using the bristle brush. Maybe I should use a round. Let's see what happens I think the bristle brush is nice for the second part of this I'm just gonna make some marks here don't really know whether this is uh, the actual way and I, I suspect that it will take some experimentation oops that's a bit So we move that down. I'm not really painting and mixing it. I'm just adding a little bit of color here. And I'm still experiencing slight lag with the brush. Okay, so we have a wet layer here. Now we want to go to the blow tool and we want to see. Now I'm going to turn the tilt. I'm going to turn it to 12 o'clock and just blow. And here you see it is moving a little bit faster. It's, it's clearly merging and as I blow and then leave it, you have to you have to leave it a little bit. I think this is a very resource intensive operation. So if you see there that my brush is, it's kind of caught up with itself as it as it were so we really don't want this line going across so I'm not entirely sure how I would get rid of that but I think it will be to do with the tilt and obviously if I uh, increase my drip length it's going to as I blow it's going to make the drips move up Okay, so let's go back to our watercolor brush and go to bristle and let's add some paint here. 
and maybe there and uh, we'll go for this blue and we we already know what's going to happen here I think we we've got this down and if I use the blow tool and blow I'll just pull a few strokes over it it's hard to know because it moves so slowly it's very hard to know which direction in which to blow I I was thinking that this it could move a little bit faster but that could be just my thinking so we're using the bristle brush we were using the bristle brush and the water is fairly let's see what happens if we move the water higher so now I've got high a high amount of water there okay and I like to sort of maybe vary and you know we could put it in here then just go to blow tool uh, fairly high and I'm going to blow it I'm going to blow it up upwards you can see at the bottom here this is moving up because that's where the tilt is okay so you can sort of play with it I think you have to you can then dry the layer again dry it and then wet it again and then you can add more color and all you know texture to get those textury edges ah there you go so that's really interesting you wet the layer and then you put the paint in the layer that's that's looks like how it works that's very interesting I was not expecting that so I did a quick wet and then I put some more paint ah it's all about experimentation it seems because I hadn't blown on that and it's flowing in the direction of the tilt so I don't even think that blowing it is really that necessary but I am going to do it anyway I think blowing just increases the speed of its movement. So perhaps the idea is that you add even more paint to this. Because that was very interesting. That was a bit unexpected actually. So if I just added, uh, yep, yeah, it's on paint. I've got quite high opacity. Let's see, wet. Yeah, it might actually be you have to wet it immediately before you add it. So anyway, I am going to play with this a little bit more. We have got something uh, very interesting here. Um, although I still have this is because this is experimentation. I still have to try and make sure I understand what to do but I think it's going to be probably very different every time I do it and in some cases I think that the blow tool might not even be necessary because it it moved free, fairly quickly there and it's obviously moving in the area that is wet that's the area where we're going to get the most movement which is kind of nice so if I uh, wet the layer and then add more to that then it will start uh, it will start flowing and I think if I use a fan brush to fan that out a little bit we can also get some interesting interesting stuff there with the water up and the size up you can get some flow there I'm just I'm just going to blow that seems to want to move upwards which is not surprising because that's where I've got the tilt okay so this is this is still fairly abstract this is just a play around 
just to experiment with this and see what we get. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully I will see you in another video. And as always, please continue to experiment with Rebel and happy painting.